This problem involves summation notation. We have a summation from i equals 1 up to 5 of the expression i squared plus 10. Now we can use our summation properties to write this as a summation of i equals 1 up to 5 of i squared plus the summation of i equals 1 up to 5 once again of the constant 10. And we know a property that we can use here in a moment. Again, we're going to start with 1, and the way summation notation is represented is 1 squared plus, we're going to go to the next term, which is 2 squared, plus 3 squared, plus, once again, 4 squared, plus 5 squared. And once we've reached this 5, we go ahead and stop. And now we're going to take that plus the summation of i equals 1 up to 5 of 10. And we know a property, if we're taking the summation of a constant, we can simply take the 5 times the 10. So let's simplify. We have 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 plus 25 plus now our 50. Put all this information together and we get a total summation value of 105.